He's coming in. He's coming in. Ah. Okay, so I'm in the parking lot of a Coco, which is a rather regional combini. And hello, there's me. Oh, I don't know if it's far away enough. Good morning. Uh, it's not good morning. It's 1130 almost in the afternoon. Uh, I just sort of woke up though. We've got some uh, Christmas decorations going on across the street there. Over here too. <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to do today is a little life update. Got some topics to discuss. Going to do a driving vlog uh, here in Shimane. I'm about to enter the city of Gotsu, which is a very small rural city. Uh, but along the way, we pass Iwami Seaside Park and Aquas Marine Park with its famous bubble-blowing whales. So I don't think I've filmed this part before of my journey when I go to Izumo to see a movie. Today, I'm actually not going to see a movie. I'm going to see a, um, uh, a concert by three of my former Chugakse, uh, Yuki, Natsumi, and... Oh, I need to know the other girl's name. Mia, I think, is the other girl's name. I need to learn that. Um, uh, they're all very talented musicians. One plays the trumpet, one plays the French horn, one plays the harp. And they're going to give a concert along with other musicians, uh, probably like 90 minutes. And I'm going to go see that in Izumo. Uh, and say hello to probably many old uh, Suisogakubu brass band members uh, from my past. Uh, I'll probably get to see a bunch of students and say hello. All right, so let me chat at you. I'm gonna put it in the visor here. So I'm hoping the sound will still be okay. Of course, I don't really know after I put it up here what you're seeing. So <clears throat> I'm gonna do this and you're gonna go, ah, okay. So the camera is there. I'm gonna tilt it down about there. All right, here we go. <laughs> Hopefully it's not pointing like too far up. I, of course, have to still be able to see to drive. All right, pulling out here. And remember, on in Japan, we drive on the left side of the road. So some of you Americans are freaking out right now, but this is the way we do it in Japan. <clears throat> All right. So one of my topics is the reason that I'm doing this driving video is a lot of you like this sort of rural scenery. See what towns look like here in the Inaka, the countryside, because I'm moving to my new town and I went there this week to visit, to visit my school, to meet my new employers, to go apartment hunting. And boy, it's a big city compared to where I live now. I mean, where I live now is tiny and uh, uh, this place is, is well, it's, it's the second largest city in the prefecture I'm going to be living in. And uh, it, just tons of people, cars, traffic. And so very different if I start filming vlogs when I start living there than what uh, you can see uh, here. So this will be one of my last driving through rural Shimane type vlogs, I guess. Oh, there you go. It's, don't go over that big orange line in the middle of the street. All right, um, so topic. So yeah, so when I got there and uh, we're driving around looking at apartments, uh, I, I saw a Starbucks, a Subway, Kokuichiban Curry, uh, McDonald's, uh, many McDonald's, KFC, Domino's Pizza. Um, so just crazy. Uh, amount of fast food in a fairly small radius, none of which exist in my town except for McDonald's. That's the only thing of, of that list that exists in the town where I live in now. And we have one of them and it's in a mall, so it's not a drive through or anything. Um, the other thing uh, that's interesting about this whole process for me is that when I first came over to Japan as a jet, uh, in the JET program, I didn't get to pick my apartment. You know, almost no JET does. Um, they just say, here's where you're going to be living. And it's a roll of the dice. Some of us get nice places, some of us get not so nice places. Um, there is some ability to switch, but not a lot, um, etc. So I got lucky in Taisha. I'm sure you've seen my apartment videos. I had a nice apartment for one person. Um, you know, I think that's sort of the advantage of living out in the rural area. The apart, the rents are lower and, you know, you get more room for what you pay. So I had that place for five years. 
it would be considered maybe a 2DK if you're talking about language for apartment hunting in Japan. Uh, two rooms with a dining kitchen area. And what I'm going to get now is probably what's called a 2LDK, which is two rooms with a living area, a dining, and a kitchen area. Uh, I'm getting a stipend from my new employers, so they're giving me so much money in my paycheck every month that's supposed to go toward my rent. So if I get, you know, a place that's, say, 7 mon, maybe it's, you know, the same as if I was paying a lot less uh, because of that stipend. Uh, you know, I don't want to say the exact amounts. Uh, but... Uh, so it, it, it allows me to maybe get a slightly larger place and not feel like I'm paying, you know, in fact, I'll be paying less than I'm paying now here in Shimane. So that's nice. Um, so when I moved to Shimane, I think, I think I've told this story. Um, I took over the apartment of the person leaving my job at the university. Um, she and her boyfriend were moving back to Canada and they said, hey, why don't you just come live here and we'll just work it out. You know, they were going to come back to Japan and pick up their stuff. And so they wanted to leave some of their stuff, like their couch and their TV and a bunch of stuff in my apartment. So I kind of had a furnished apartment ready to go with no key money or deposit. Um, and then we were going to work out all those details. Well, it ended up being disastrous because they ended up being assholes. But um, again, the, the point of the story is, uh, I didn't really go apartment hunting. I didn't choose my place. I didn't go around and look at a bunch of places. I just said, okay, um, sure. And I took it over, again, not knowing how long I would end up living here. And I've lived there five and a half years now. So, um, uh, so for the first time when I was in my new city, I got to go apartment hunting and actually look at different places, think about you know the furniture I have, the needs I have as a single person. Um, you know, do I want a bigger kitchen, a smaller kitchen? You know, I need a place for my TV. That's important to me. Um, you know, where do I want to sleep? Does it have an air con unit? Almost every place I looked at only had one air con unit. Um, and it was always in the main living room. You know, there was never an air con unit in the bathroom. Uh, in the bathroom, sorry, in the bedroom. Or in, you know, either of the other rooms that you can close off. Um, I decided, you know, not to go for places on the second floor. Uh, because of my walking, you know, it's not as good. Um, I decided to go with go tatami. I don't want to worry about tatami anymore. So I'm getting all hardwood, you know, etc., etc. So it's been nice, and I've been able to look at a, a various price range, various you know floor plans, and the real estate agent that took us around uh, was super nice. And uh, so uh, in January I'll be putting down, you know, a deposit. The school will actually do it for me. So that's very nice. They're going to act as the guarantor, uh, the garan, guarantor, I don't know how you say that word. Um, but uh, so I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Over here is going to be beach on your left. Um, the camera, I don't know how wide it's going to be able to pull in. Maybe I can take it off its peg here uh, just for a moment as we drive by this area. And uh, this is uh, a fairly popular beach area, Iwami Seaside Park. Um, we just passed the, uh, the famous Aquas Aquarium, and you can't really see from this angle the beach, but it's out there, and uh, it's, it's very nice, and they keep it very clean. Oh, you, maybe you can see a little bit of it. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> but of course, nobody goes there if it's not summer, uh, and that includes even if it's like hot in like September because it's not officially summer anymore. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so uh, I'm really looking forward to, you know, having a brand new place. In fact, one of the places that I'm looking at is completely, you know, like just being built now. So I would be the first person to ever live there. And that kind of sounds intriguing because it'd be brand new to me. Everything's brand new. Nobody's ever used it before, etc. Okay, what else do is on my little sheet? Um, ah, so today my conundrum is, <coughs> excuse me, I wanted to see a movie either before or after the concert. So uh, James Bond Spectre just opened in Japan on the 4th. Today's the 6th. And uh, uh, unfortunately, you know, it's like every other showing is, is Jimaku which is with subtitles or dubbed. And the concert's gonna end around four, 
and then there's like a uh, uh, a seven o'clock ish, no six thirty ish showing of James Bond, but it's dubbed. So the next one's not till like nine o'clock. Well, I can't really stay in Ismo until nine because you know I wouldn't the movie wouldn't finish until like midnight, and then I'd have to drive two hours home, and uh, you know I have to work tomorrow, so uh, so I can't go see James Bond. There was a nine twenty a.m which would have meant I had to have left my house at like 7 a.m., which means I would have had to have gotten up this morning at like 5.30. And about midnight last night, I said, screw it. I would only get five hours of sleep if I went to bed right now. And uh, so I said, no, nah, I'm not gonna do that option. So sometimes that can really be a pain when you're trying to go see a movie. I also wanna see the last Hunger Games movie. But again, you know, it's it's been out a few weeks, so it's only there's only one show with subtitles today at the theater, and it happens to be at like three o'clock, so again, I'll be still be at the concert. And then the other movie that just opened here is the Peanuts movie, the Snoopy movie, Charlie Brown. Love to go see that, big fan of that comic strip. And yet, they're only showing it dubbed, as they often do with cartoons, um, like Pixar and Disney and, and this one. So it's in 2D or 3D, but both are dubbed into Japanese. It's probably one of the few movies I could go see in Japanese and understand what's going on because <coughs> I know the characters so well from growing up with them, I could probably figure most of it out. I doubt the plot's gonna be that intricate. Um, and of course, Snoopy doesn't talk, you know, there'll be some, some non-verbal sections. But anyway. Uh, and then my other movie dilemma is coming up with Star Wars. So I think you all know that I'm a huge Star Wars fan they're doing a weird thing here in Japan if I'm reading the website correctly and I need to get a Japanese friend to read it and confirm that I'm doing this correctly but um, oh bus pulling over okay past the bus um, so this is kind of a rural town you know you got your hardware store there you got your eatery over here you got a shell station to get some gas uh, you know places that were things that aren't anymore um, you know, like that used to be a little coffee shop. I think it's out of business. I don't know how much you're seeing, unfortunately. Uh, but this is, you know, one lane. This is the, the road that I take all the way to the movie theater. It doesn't really change. Every now and then there's a passing lane, but it's just kind of, you know, one lane traffic all the way through the prefecture. Um, there's the railroad tracks on your left. I don't know if you can see that. So we kind of go along the same route as the train uh, that runs up and down the coast here. <clears throat> 7-Eleven, Conveni's everywhere. So with Star Wars, it's weird. What they're doing is, on the 18th, you know, the day it opens everywhere in the world, it's opening here, but not like midnight on Thursday. They're showing it on Friday, but they're only showing it once. For some reason, they've got it in their heads. They want to like be in the same time as the world, or I don't know, I don't know exactly. That's why I need to have someone read the website for me. But it's showing at 18.30, Okay, which is 6.30 p.m. on Friday. And I thought, okay, well, that'll be like the initial showing, everybody, you know, something special. You know, you get to see it first. And then, of course, they'll have like a 9 o'clock show so I can get off work, drive up. But my friend says no. Uh, my other Gaijin friend says no. From what he can tell, they're only showing it once on Friday at 6.30. Now, luckily, that one showing is 2D dubbed, a uh, 2D subtitled. So I can go to that. Um, and I do need to get my snow tires put on the car. And the Jidosha, the place where I go, is open. Uh, and I'm gonna pull in, do I wanna go to the Denki? No, I don't have time to go to the Denki. Okay, I was gonna pull in there and get something I need for my car. My CD player isn't working. Oh, we're gonna get a light. And I wanted to get one of those radio adapters so I can play my iPhone into my car, but I'll have to do it. We've got a really old lady crossing the road here. Uh, maybe I'll do it in Ismo and at least have music for the drive back. Um, anyway, so uh, I need to get snow tires put on the car. You know, it's the middle of December. It's about that time. And so I thought, okay, well, I'll do that and then go. I can go to the 1830 show maybe uh, if I can get off a little early from work. And it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but I have to go back to Ismo on Sunday the 20th because I agreed to, for the last time, uh, I've done it for him many other times, I'm gonna play Santa for my friend's Akaiwa school Christmas party. Um, so they get the real Santa, quote unquote. And uh, 
so that's the Sunday, you know, so I could wait and see it sometime on Sunday before or after I be, be, I, I'm Santa, um, you know, because it's two hours up there and two hours back driving gasoline, blah, blah, blah. Or I could go see it on Friday and go see it on Sunday. Hopefully the movie's that good that I want to do that and go see it twice. So <coughs> with the new poll function on Twitter, I put up a poll, you know, should I just go see it once on Sunday or go see it twice? And I think only about 10 people voted, but uh, I think eight of them voted for go see it twice, which of course is the more fun option. Uh, so maybe that's what I'll end up doing. I don't know, are you guys, leave a comment, are you gonna go see Star Wars? I haven't bought my ticket yet, I might buy it today. Um, although, again, I really don't think it will sell out, but they are making a big push for it here. It's getting merchandise everywhere. So people are definitely gonna be aware of it. Um, and, you know, I went and looked at Box Office Mojo. The last time a Star Wars movie was in theaters here was 2005, and it was Revenge of the Sith, and it did well that year. It was, I think it was the second most popular movie. <laughs> but, you know, you can't compare that movie and how it opened to this new movie because obviously this new movie is, is you know, I think going to do really, really well everywhere in the world and, and hopefully it's going to be really good and more in all the hype and expectations. Okay, I think that's about it. I'm going to turn off, I think this has been already 15 minutes, so golly gosh, if you stuck in here all the way, beep beep, um, you can drive my car by the Beatles uh, for you. Um, I hope you enjoy this little look at uh, rural Gotsu, and uh, we're going to get out of here in a minute. So what I did was, is there's a bypass, anytime you hear the word bypass in Japan, it means you're on a road with no intersections and very few exits where you're bypassing the downtown area. So I'm not on that road, I'm going right through sort of the middle of downtown, and that's because this is free. Um, the bypass near near the town before Gotsu uh, is free, and then it, it, you have a choice. You can either go left and go down to the coast and go along where I am now, or you can go right and go on a toll road. And it does save about 10 minutes, literally about 10 minutes, because you can go, you know, sort of 100 km per hour. Um, you know, I think the speed limit is 70 km or 80 km. Uh, and there's, you know, no cars basically and no on and off traffic almost. So, <clears throat> uh, but it costs 570 yen, which is, you know, about $4.50. So, you know, do you want to spend 450 just to save yourself 10 minutes? I have spent it because sometimes it's like, oh, that 10 minutes is really going to help me. Uh, <laughs> but today I'm, I'm a little bit more leisurely paced. I want to stop at a konbini on the way and get some karage or something to eat in the car as I drive, kind of for a snack for lunch. And then hopefully a bunch of us, the students, are going to go out to karaoke or go get parfait or something after the concert and sort of catch up and have a nice visit. Okay, well thanks for tuning in for Life Update. Hopefully it wasn't so crazy. And now I'm going to have to find somewhere to pull over really quickly uh, just to take the camera out. Um, oh boy. There's a combini when you need one. Okay, it's not really a combini, that's a house. But it'll work, I'm gonna pull in here. People are gonna wonder why. Oh, maybe it's like a clinic or something. Okay, so there you go. Bum, -da -da. hey. All right, let me grab it. <laughs> okay, thank you guys, see you, peace. I'll definitely do another like year-end video before the end of the month, so hang in there. If you're still subscribed to the channel, there's still going to be the occasional video. All right, peace.